How to draw in CapCut PC. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, we will discuss about drawing in uh, CapCut PC. Because, well, first and foremost, it's not actually available from the platform it itself. You can't really draw here. Um, there is no like option to draw at all from CapCut, but we can actually work around uh, with another method that we can actually go ahead and draw whatever we want and anytime we want and we can just go ahead and uh, grab it now CapCut, however does offer you know you can add some sort of uh, imports from uh, media and stuff and all of those things but not drawing itself so anyway what do we actually need to do so first open up your browser so this is going to bo both work for windows and mac it doesn't really matter uh, so just go ahead and open up any browser that you want and then we are just going to search for an online free tool that is for uh, drawing and stuff I'm just going to search for it which is pixlr.com as you can see on the screen right now it's pixlr.com I'm just going to pause this uh, block on this site and then we can just go ahead and start with open uh, the basically the editor here so pixlr editor right down here and then we want to basically get started for free so we can just click on create new now what we want is selecting this art grid um, option so this is going to give us the ability to draw uh, freely in this space and there's no you know there's no background and we can just go ahead and paste it in uh, cap cut after we are done just make sure that there's no background otherwise it's not going to work properly it's going to be an entire image so just make sure that you select art grid and the background is turned off and just click on create once that's done we are just basically going to draw whatever we like in here so you have a few tools that we can actually use there's a lot actually to use here uh, as pixlr is very well known when it comes to this sort of stuff i'm just going to make it as solid as possible and we can just go ahead and draw whatever we like if you want to change the color feel free to do so from here uh, we can just go ahead and add something else here just to make it noticeable once we actually add it to our cap cut so once you're done drawing this spaghetti thing we can just go ahead and download it and then from there we can actually use it on cap cut so first you'll need to just go ahead and click on save on the bottom right here and then you will need to select the png file it must be the png file and that the transparent option is turned on otherwise again it's not going to work it's going to generate a background for you we don't want that so just go ahead and select png with transparent on click on save as and you would want to save it anywhere that you will like i'm just going to save it in uh, desktop and then we will need to log in for free i'm just going to go ahead and do that real quick and download the image easily after that we should have our file right here now i need to note that pixlr is not the only option for you out there i mean if you're on windows you can just use paint uh but it is you know there's a lot out there that you can actually use but anyways we can just go ahead and now import media from CapCut and just locate the image and then drag and drop it right on top of where we actually want it to be so we can just go ahead and move it there and then we can also make it smaller or bigger to our liking and we can always just go ahead and copy and paste it around if you would like uh so this is the workaround that we can think of for the time being but there's no sure there's no way that we can actually draw from CapCut itself so if you're trying to, uh, you know, make a little animation thing with a drawing, it's, it's going to be a lot difficult for you to use CapCut for that reason. But hopefully you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching.